the plan was for me to hike from New York City to the AT. And I thought that would be an amazing thing to say. So I looked it up and realized that I can get from Harlem, New York City, over that George Washington Bridge and just hike, you know, to the AT. I wanted my brother to do this hike with me because uh, he's a city guy and I just wanted him to get that feeling I had as a New Yorker city dude to just get in the woods and just start, just start hiking. The first day was pretty easy. We did 14 miles actually the first day because it was all flat. The second day he got a blister. The third day he was cursing at me. So he was like pretty miserable. Like he was, you could see it in his face. Um, and he was not liking me. That was an easy one, right? <laughs> it was four I grueling didn't, days didn't notice. <laughs> of hiking from New York City to get where we're at. So I saw like the one dreadlock going over a hill. That's all I saw. Because he would he would stop and wait for me to catch up. As soon as I caught up, he would leave. And then I would catch my breath for 10 minutes and then slowly gain ground. And the whole time, all I'm seeing is blazes and rocks. Uh, I'm focused on a footing and looking for blazes. I couldn't even see Derek. Do you think y'all have a close relationship, you and Derek? That's a loaded question. You know what, next one. White, you know what, this is, that stop, this stop this right now. Well, I like the outdoors and I, I needed a break from work. And we've been talking about it for a while. And I just wanted to get away from the city. That was the main thing, just get away from the noise, the traffic, the sirens. It's just everything is up to a 10, a level 10 over there and here. It's at a one and you can just take it at your own pace, go as fast as you want, go as slow as you want. It's just calming being out here, even though it's exhausting sometimes. I haven't spent five days with my brother in a row ever since we were kids. So spending time with him is pretty great. I wanted him to experience what I experienced when I uh, threw hike, at least a part of it. Well, when I got off the AT, it changed my life. I was a different person. I mean, I had never camped before, I've never pitched a tent. You know, first time I did it was at Springer Mountain. I, I was like, I was nervous for a minute. Like, I knew I wanted to do this, I knew I was gonna do it, but for a minute, I was like, oh man, dude, what you get yourself into? So I was surprised when like, I was trying to put my pack up and this dude ran up to me and like, started adjusting my pack for me. I was like, checking my wallet to see if he had stole something. What the heck are you doing? You... But when you meet people in the city, you know, you don't like see someone coming and say hi to them. It doesn't work like that in the city. They're gonna think, you know, something's wrong with you. You want money, you want something from them, you know? But it wasn't like that, man. People were just like, you got enough food? Uh, we'll give you some food, you need water. I'm like, where am I? This is like, this is surreal. There's this feeling you get it just flows through you, where it's, everything's just right. And like, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. You know, life is, is a wonder. And you know, living just to work and uh, pay your bills, that's not, that's not living. I think the AT sets you free. I think the AT puts that aside for you for a while. It's like, look, I'll take this for you. Just put it over here for a while. And let me show you what I got. And I think the AT shows you um, what else is out there. You know? And you don't even need to go far. The AT runs all up the coast, you know. I live in New York City, and it's only an hour train ride. Well, five days if you're hiking it. When you get to the bottom of a hill, and then you see there's two more levels to it, and then you get to the top and you didn't think you were ever gonna get there. And you get there and you look down and you're like, damn. You're out of breath, dripping sweat, and you're like, I did it. The views I saw standing over the lake and being up so high, those are gonna be the memorable things that I remember. Yesterday, it was a long hike for, for both of us, but I was feeling it for my brother. He was just like, willpower. He wanted to get to a lake and that was his goal. Like, he may have been miserable, but he knew once he got to the lake, he was gonna be happy. He got to the lake, 
we just like jumped right in and it felt amazing it started getting dark and we weren't in a hurry to go to sleep you know although we did a long hike we actually were energized by the lake the lake gave us a little boost we got a campfire going and my brother had his feet up our goal to get to the lake was well worth it it was well worth the long hike